After an incredible run out of Bitcoin these last few months, it looks as if bullish momentum is slowing way down as price action for Bitcoin is showing some clear signs of weakness as it's clinging on to this $35,000 support, which if broken, we could see a sub $30,000 Bitcoin for the first time in almost two weeks. The DXY was gaining some serious bullish momentum closing out last week, and with the price action we're seeing out of Bitcoin this weekend, I would not at all be surprised if the dollar opens up the week strong, adding more confluence to our short-term bearish idea for Bitcoin. The sideways price action we've been seeing out of Bitcoin has given altcoins a bit of room to run as dominance holds support just around the 67% level. We are seeing altcoins like Chainlink hit new all-time highs, Ren and Cardano performing extraordinarily well this weekend, but this chart says that this altcoin run could be short-lived as dominance is in a falling wedge pattern, letting us know that we could be breaking out back to the upside very soon. A correction here in the short term would would be a very healthy sign for Bitcoin, especially if we hope to maintain these higher levels as this bull run continues. But one thing we know for sure right now, and that is the bears are hungry and they've been hanging around all weekend looking for snacks. In today's episode, we'll go over our plan of attack moving forward with some potential bullish and bearish targets for Bitcoin. So stick around until the end of the episode because you do not want to become a bear snack. Ask him about the car, man. Is this yours, Larry? Is this your homework, Larry? Is that your car out front? Is this your homework, Larry? We, we know it's his fucking homework. Where's the fucking money, you little brat? All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Johnny here. Let's get right into this. But but first. You know the drill. If you could hit that like and subscribe, I definitely appreciate the love. And don't forget to ding the bell. To stay up to date on all the latest and the greatest from us over here at Three Candle Collective. Now, this is the Bitcoin four hour chart. It does appear to be putting in a head and shoulders pattern, which is a bearish reversal pattern. Now, some things to consider here. We did put in this W pattern here. I was expecting a potential continuation out of this W pattern, but we did get rejected at the this overhead resistance right at $40,000, sending the price to where it is right now. Now, if we take a bit of a closer look here, we can see we have a few different bearish head and shoulder patterns forming inside of one another. So we have one right here on the four hour time frame. Um, and if we just take a quick measured move here to see where a break of the neckline would possibly take us, uh, we are looking at the potential of a $28,000, $29,000 Bitcoin there. So all things considered, I mean, Bitcoin is looking pretty bearish. If we take a look at the dollar, Dollar shorts are breaking records right now, so there are a ton of traders that are short the dollar, um, and it's reached new all-time highs, according to Scotiabank, one of Canada's biggest five banks. So apparently, the CFTC data reflected the largest week-to-week -week turn against the dollar since early August 2020, which wasn't that long ago, uh, with the U.S. dollar's net short reaching its highest mark on record in dollar terms uh, at $35 billion on the back of a three. 3.7 billion US dollar increase in favor of the currencies that we track, uh, they said in just a published note. So apparently uh, there are a lot of Forex traders that are short on the dollar right now. So it only makes sense to get a bounce out of the dollar. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dollar right now. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, we are looking at some potential short term bullish momentum out of the dollar. It has been picking up steam this entire week uh, and we did get a bounce and it is up above the 21 daily EMA. Let's go ahead and bring up the fibs here. Uh, these are the Fibonacci exponential moving averages. Uh, so we're looking at uh, 
price action right now. This is the DXY on the daily. It did break above the 21 EMA, and we're waiting for trading to resume so we can see just where the dollar is going. So just above price action, we have the 55 EMA. If we do see the dollar break across this 55 EMA, which is right at 91% on the index, uh, we'll likely see it head to the 200, which would give us a pretty... So if we break across the 55 up to the 200, that'll be about a 2.8% move. Now, if you remember in previous videos, we did discuss the inverse correlation between Bitcoin and the DXY. For every 1% move up out of the DXY, we get about a 15% move down out of Bitcoin and vice versa for every 1% move down down out of the DXY, we get about a 10 to 15% move up out of Bitcoin and GBTC as well. So if we are looking at a 2.8% move, we could be looking at a fairly strong correction out of Bitcoin moving forward. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So first, actually, let's take a look at Bitcoin dominance. This will give us an idea as to the strength of Bitcoin in the short term. Uh, and we are in this falling wedge. Um, and actually, what is a much bigger falling a broadening wedge pattern, which is a very bullish reversal pattern. We did break across this upper trend line here right at 67% on this index and we do appear to be getting a bounce, letting us know that this alt boom that we've seen over the past few days could be coming to an end or it could indeed be getting ready to heat up. If Bitcoin dominance does break this trend line here at 67%, uh, we could see this fall significantly further, possibly all the way down to the lower trend line of this falling broadening wedge, taking us down right around 50% on the index, a place Bitcoin hasn't been since April of 2019. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at price action here. Now, sometimes I do mess around on different time frames to see if I can see some sort of price action developing that I might not have seen on your typical time frames. And this is the 21 hour time frame. And I did find something interesting here. So, as you know, Bitcoin has been putting in these W double bottom reversal patterns the entire way up of this incredible parabolic move. Um, so, that is what I have been looking for. And it's been pretty successful uh, in my strategy on the way up. So if we take a uh, Fib retracement from the top of the price action, which would be our all-time high at 42,000, uh, let's go ahead and move that, 42,000, uh, $42,043, and then bring it all the way down to the most recent lowest low at 30,202. That gives us an 818 right here at $32,076. So if this is indeed a W pattern forming, we are looking for a potential move out of Bitcoin from where it is right now, um, all the way down to this 818 retracement at that $32,000 level. Now, one thing that does have me thinking this is a possibility is we did get a very strong bounce off of this 618 retracement, um, letting us know that we did get the retest there, which means we could be looking for Bitcoin headed higher in the very near term. Um, but, you know, another bit of confluence to this idea, if we bring up the 21 daily EMA that is sitting right at $33,489. We have been kind of testing this 21 daily EMA. We haven't gotten a candle body close below it, which is a great sign uh, for heading higher, but we have been getting some tests of it uh, over the past couple of days. Uh, past week or so, letting us know that we could be headed down for another test. And if Bitcoin does break this 21 daily EMA, which happens to line up right with this lower trend line of the symmetrical triangle, uh, then we'll be looking at these much lower targets somewhere down around anywhere from $23,000 all the way down to $19,600. Um, but, you know, it will probably catch some support on the way down. Um, but that's that's really what I'm looking at for here with Bitcoin in the short term. So bullish case, uh, we could get a buy here at $32,076. Okay, so if we do take that 818 buy at $32,076, we are looking for a pretty decent move to the upside. Now we could take this entire move as a one-to-one -one extension because this could be a bull flag um, and it does look like one especially when you're on higher time frames that would give us a one-to-one -one extension all the way up over seventy-two thousand um, dollars but that gives us a 0.5 extension right here at 46 7 11 which would be a brand new all-time high and some pretty strong bullish price action out of bitcoin um, but you know with this bullish case of being a possibility i really do not think it is a probability especially when we look at 
all of the bearish confluence out of the DXY saying we could be in store for a 30% correction. So what we are looking for here is we are looking for a breakdown across this 21 daily EMA, at which point we should get a move down here right to this 818 and then get a retest here of this lower trend line before heading further to the downside. Okay, so if you want to trade this price action, uh, this could actually be pretty tradable, especially with a 33.38% move from the break of this neckline. Uh, one thing you would want to do is you wait for a clean volume confirmed break of this neckline and this 21 daily EMA. And then what should happen is we'll come down and retest this former support, come up, retest, giving us a bearish confirmation of the breakout of this uh, head and shoulders symmetrical triangle, um, whichever you you want to call it, um, letting us know that we are headed further to the downside. So after price action would break this level, we would set our limit sell orders up here right around this trend line, looking for price action to get a small bounce coming up, grabbing our sell orders, and then hopefully taking it all the way down to these targets. Now, uh, some targets you might want to keep in mind if you are playing the short here. Uh, if we take a FIB extension tool, the one-to-one -one is right here at 28780 seven uh, if price action does break all the way down to the one to one we may get a bounce here um, and then a move back up to the 618 which does line up with this lower trend line followed by a further move to the downside and that does line up pretty closely with the 1618 extension to the downside here right at $22,746. So, you know, I would set my take profit order somewhere right, right around here, uh, especially uh, considering there's this former resistance uh, right here that we have not yet confirmed support. So price action could actually end here um, and we could be looking at a bounce somewhere around here. Uh, but, you know, in time will tell. We're just sitting back waiting for some pretty identifiable price action to develop. Let's go ahead and take a look at the funding rate. So this is the daily funding rate. This is the daily funding rate. You can see that we have been trending to the upside for quite some time now, actually since early October, right when this parabolic move to the upside began um, and we are still sitting pretty heavy on the positive side letting us know that we are in fact due for a correction out of bitcoin okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the daily rsi it does appear to be trending to the upside uh, we are sitting right around 64 letting us know that we are not quite overbought on the daily just yet but if we go to the weekly we are indeed overbought uh, the weekly rsi is up here right above 93 um, on on the relative strength index letting us know that we are due for a correction very very soon um, and one thing that's interesting that I did notice here so if we take a look at this weekly RSI uh, the last peak here the last time we were up over 90 here uh, was on December 11th 2017 letting us know that this could be a pretty significant bearish divergence if price action heads to the downside from here um, and you know that could be it could be a pretty strong sign letting us know that we have hit the top of this bull rally and, and we could be in store for a short-term bear market as we move into 2021. All right, so taking a look at Ethereum, this is the four-hour chart. Ethereum does appear to be looking pretty bullish compared to Bitcoin. Uh, so we did, again, here the same that we did with Bitcoin. We got the double bottom W pattern here only to come up and get rejected just, just shy of the previous high. Um, and it does appear that Ethereum could be headed lower in the short term as well. But if we go ahead and we take a look at the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, it is looking incredibly bullish. So uh, this is the four hour. Let's go ahead and zoom out to the three day. Uh, so the three day Bitcoin Ethereum chart has put into this inverse head and shoulders, which is a very bullish reversal pattern. Um, and, you know, shorter term, it has put in this falling broadening wedge, which typically it is a bullish pattern. The these do tend to break to the upside more often than not. Um, and you do also see a double bottom pattern here in what could actually be a cup and handle with this being the handle structure getting ready to break to the upside. So it did break this upper trend line against the Bitcoin and it does appear to be moving to the upside. Um, if you're looking to trade this, this would actually be a pretty decent trade. I would be looking for a volume confirmed to break out across this neckline where I would then ride the price action to the upside as far as possible, giving us some potential targets, a one-to-one -one extension all the way up here uh, at 0.05 Bitcoin, um, which would be a pretty significant um, 
percentage move from where price action is right now. That's actually a uh, 74, 75% move out of Ethereum against Bitcoin. So that's definitely something to watch here in the short term. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at Chainlink. So Chainlink has been on a tear, putting in new all-time highs this weekend. Here is the Chainlink Coinbase Chainlink USD Coinbase chart again came up, put in this double bottom structure, came up, met this new all time high. And again, this is the three day chart. Let's go ahead and zoom into the daily. It does appear to be continuing this bullish price action against the dollar. Uh, while that looks bullish, let's go ahead and look at Link against Bitcoin. So this might give us a bit more insight as to where or how high this rally might go for Chainlink. So Chainlink has been on this pretty incredible move to the upside against Bitcoin. Uh, I put in this blow off top, came back down, and we did get the bounce here. Um, and it has since been pushing further to the upside. So this is the 21 daily EMA. It did break across, and it does appear to be holding support there above there. Um, it's pretty significantly higher. It is sitting about... Come on, there you go. We're about 21% over the 21 daily EMA, letting us know that we should be getting some further continuation um, out of Chainlink. So looking for some potential targets here out of Chainlink, let's go ahead and take a FIB trend-based extension tool from the low to the high back down to the low here. If we do get a one-to-one, -one, but that won't bring us up to the all-time high against Bitcoin, uh, but that will take us up pretty far from where Chainlink is right now. Uh, that would be a 335% percent move against Bitcoin in the short term. Um, and that would be fairly, fairly bullish for Chainlink. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look back at the Link USD chart. So Link USD, Coinbase. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys some targets here. So this is a fairly bullish looking chart. Again, putting in that new all-time high, uh, nice rounded bottom structure here, breaking to the upside in a double bottom. Uh, it did actually have a neckline here right at the 21 daily EMA and has broken across pretty strongly. So if we want to take a or get a target for this move, we'll go from that low to that mid high there. Uh, that'll give us, it just did break across the one-to-one -one of that short term. But if we take a bit of a more long-term target here, low to high to most recent low, uh, this again, this is the trend based FIB extension tool that would give us a one to one all the way up here, just shy of 100 US dollars, which would be an incredible move out of Chainlink. Um, and, you know, it's something that is abs absolutely very possible considering the strength of this project um, and the weakening of the US dollar. So Chainlink is looking rather bullish uh, trading this price action right now. So, uh, you know, you did get the one to one extension out of this double bottom. So there is a possibility of a retrace back down here to the 618. So that would be a great place to put in a buy order here for Chainlink. Uh, one thing you want to do is set a few of them here. So scale into your buy orders. Uh, you want to keep your... Um, Keep your stop loss down below this 236 or even possibly this 382 if you wanted to put a little tighter um, and reduce that risk. Actually, that's 29%. That's a bit much. Let's go down to the previous lowest low right here. Uh, I think that's at $12.41. Um, and then, you know, you could probably ride this out if this is the beginning of the ins insane altcoin season we're about to get. You could be looking at a 553% move out of chain link in this next altcoin cycle all right guys that's it that's all i have for you today thanks so much for dropping in i hope you all are having a beautiful weekend and i will see you guys tomorrow